Next, we're gonna um, discuss um, Marquez Pacquiao three. Um, you know, from a couple of different um, aspects. Um, the um, actually the first fight with Marquez and Pacquiao, I think um, it should have actually went to Pacquiao. It was fault of one of the judges that wasn't aware that there was a such thing as a 10-6 round. The um, initially, if you beat a fighter, I wasn't aware of that either. But uh, it sounds really it, see, but this is proof. Now, the, if you if you beat the uh, the opponent, you automatically get a 10-9 round. If you you know you look better than that so round. Plus 10-9, yeah. 10-9, but he got knocked down three times, so that goes from 10-9 to 10-8. One knockdown, 10-7 would be the second, and 10-6. One of the judges gave um, a 10-7 round. The other two scored that round a 10. Um, Six. Yes. They know that. Right. But, two. Um, so, but I, they, they, what um, happens if you get knocked down like four or five times, like Corrales did in one round? Right, when everything goes down, everything has to be but knocked down. Does it score or like it's a, supposed to? It is supposed to. Now, as well as they can have a 10 10 round, or you know, other things may happen, but that was clearly Pacquiao's round that he won, regardless of the um, the knockdowns. But the knockdowns just would elevate him um, further on the um, scorecard, and people also say. Well, I think Marquez won that fight because how do you get knocked down three times in one round and still give this guy um, hell it later on in the fight? You know, just because it's a knockdown, it doesn't mean that you hurt. Right? right? Slip and fall and, and still get caught on the way going down is considered a knockdown. Yeah, but it's it okay. is. Right. But it all depends how hurt you are in a, in, in, in a fight. Right, that does, but as far as the knockdown, I could knock you down, knock you down the, um, 10 times in a fight, that doesn't mean you hurt. You right, could be slipping and you could feel off but it is a balance point. and stuff like that. But it's a point though. Because when, um, now mind you, when Pacquiao Marquez fought, everything came down to um, points. You know, who had the most. Yeah, but in a, in, a, in a hot anticipated fight like that, and what happens is people are not going to score it. If you look at that fight, you're going to be like, okay, they got knocked down three times. You know what? We can need to score this because he's going he's, he's gonna, to he's gonna knock him out. At the end of the fight, at the end of the, at the end of the round, you get knocked down. If you, if you, if a fighter get knocked down two, three times, you're gonna expect that fight to finish at that round. You understand? Yeah, I, I thought so, they could have actually stopped it. So at the moment, you're gonna be like excited to just like, wow, this fight not gonna last. Let me ten seven it. You know what I'm saying? Not ten six. <laughs> but at the end of the day, he didn't figure that that fight, that fight went, went went that way. And at the end, of the, he he felt like. You know what? Let me see next round if if he could improve himself. If not, then it, well, I gave the benefit of the doubt. It looked like he got um, he was stunned, not hurt. But I was surprised they didn't stop it though. I thought I remember watching that fight. I thought they were gonna um, stop it. But hold on now, um, fight number two, Marquez got dropped again. I think being careless, trying to trade back and forth with Pacquiao. Do you think? It, that's something he's gonna do now that Pacquiao's comfortable at this weight he's at right now? He's gonna feel, Marquez is gonna play safe and he's gonna be a smarter fighter this time. Cause he knows he's a little older, he can afford to get knocked down, he can afford to get hurt. So what he's gonna do is he's gonna play it safe and play it smart. He's gonna hurt, with, hurt Pacquiao when he needs to hurt him and not trade too many. But in his heart, he's still a fighter, so he's gonna probably trade a certain point right, of fight. It's a reflex. It's but, a reflex. Uh, I don't think he's gonna do as. I don't think we're gonna see a, a, like a part one or part two of this of, of this of, of the fight. So it's gonna be more of a technical fighter fight. Yeah. But uh, like I said, Pacquiao is too strong. I think he's a little taller, so he got a little little advantage there. But uh, right. I, I think Pacquiao is gonna is gonna, is gonna it's gonna. It's, he's too. He's too quick for 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 Marquez. And Pacquiao, when he fought Marquez the first fight, the second fight, he was a little young. He was coming up. Right. So now this guy is more of a. Pacquiao is more of a. He's more versatile. Yeah. He's he's, he's grown. And, 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 and he's grown in, in, in his fights. So he know more or less what to to do and not to do. You know what I mean? So. Well, they they said Pacquiao was a one hand fighter when he fought Marquez the first time. He, he got stunned. Like, he got stunned yeah, too. He, so yeah. I mean, I want to see a fight. I want to see both fighters get hit, get knocked down, come back up, and knock their, each other out. 
Well, you know what? That's what to, I want to see. To to um to to comment on that, I think some of my most favorite memorable fights aren't the um fights where my fighter just beats the stars out of someone. It's those close fights. The best fights are actually close fights that could be either way. Those are the most it keeps memorable you on the fights. Edge. It keeps you on the edge of like, damn, my fellow like has been beating him, and at the minute he knocks him out, he right. knocks him down. A lucky punch comes in and your fighter get caught. And Those are memorable fights. Those right. fights. Like Eddie Ward and uh, Gotti, Gotti right. Barrera and Eric Morales. Um, Corrales and Castillo. That first Morales, fight was, that was beautiful. That was a beautiful fight. But uh, like I said, um, at the end of this, at the end of this conversation, uh, like I said, Pacquiao's gonna come with the victory, and um, you still think he's? I, uh, hope, um, I hope he does. Because yeah, of the fight that we're hoping for, right? Exactly. Because I want to see him fight Mayweather, and I want to see Mayweather show his skill. Then I want to see what he has. And um, well, hold on. I, wanna, I, just, I, I mean, I would like to see the fight. Initially, you said um, it's going to end round five. Now, is hold on. I just want to state something: is the fights get closer and closer, and we have more time to analyze um, certain things about fights. The predictions may change. I tell you, mine's will. Yeah, because I said that. Be, I think at the, at the, I think the first. The I still first, think it's going to be close to the first episode three. I said round four at the beginning right. of the conversation. Then at the end of the conversation, I, I said five because I'm giving it the benefit, for the benefit of the doubt of Marquez performance. This is why I'm saying the benefit of the doubt. I know. Um, Pacquiao is gonna bring everything to the table. I'm not too, I'm not too sure about Marquez bringing everything to the table. I don't think he's gonna come in at 100. percent He looked good on 24/7 when he was fighting, um, ready to fight Floyd Mayweather, but he didn't show enough. He showed that he was too. He didn't show that hunger that he showed. He didn't show. He didn't show. He, didn't, he, he, he didn't show the way he showed it on 24/7, and this is why I'm, I'm, I'm. I'm, I'm basing my my experience on, on what I saw on 24/7 in, in the Mayweather fight, but um, I don't think he's not going to be 100 percent for Pacquiao. I know Pacquiao is going to come 100 percent because this he has last chance to, though. He has something to prove. Yeah, to Mayweather. Yes, this Pacquiao. is the reason why I say it's going to be a fast fight, and, and, and either fighter is going to get knocked down because they're going to come at each other. So right, this is what I want to see. I think um, Pacquiao. Yeah, like he he will Pacquiao will come into that fight. With um, something to prove, Marquez, his something to prove would be this is his last um, chance. His last to, chance to, to prove it to all the fans. Show that he's I the best, really, right? And find a, a one of the best fighter out there besides Floyd Mayweather. So this is his last chance. He has to prove himself once and for all. Right. So, if he can actually beat Pacquiao, then he may have a rematch with Floyd. But people, I don't that, see it coming. I mean, um, <laughs> I don't see, I don't see that fight happening. <laughs> People, um, the, the thing is with the, Mar the Marquez Pacquiao 3, whether people like Marquez or, or not, I, I've been speaking to um, so many people and it's like people, forget your favorites, people just want to see Pacquiao and Floyd. So people wanted, I, I know so many people that love Ortiz, they wanted to see Floyd win just so he could fight Pacquiao. Yeah. That's how big these two guys are. It's it's the sweepstakes. Yeah, but, um, but um, it's um, not gonna get you by. You know, I still the I best still, man will win. I still love all these fighters that's fighting now because they all they all bring a different uh, a, a, a different uh, technique to the table. And um, like I said, don't 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 count out yeah, Marquez. You can't Marquez count out. He's a a good counter person, a good counter, counter, punch, counter well, fighter. He did with these other fighters, De La Hoya. He has you know? defense and right. he has power, so he's an interesting fighter to watch. So don't just right. Think you can't move. count it out because you know he he has to be studying. He he, yeah, he did with De La Hoya. He's, he's, he's definitely looking Karate, at those the two tapes that he Koro, fought. Hatton, all of these guys, he's all these tapes, and he's once again. Um, I think we kind of overdid it, caught up in the hype. Uh, you know, the boxing um, world, the things that are going on, it's so exciting right now. So that we're thankful for. But um, we'll save a little bit for the um, the next episode. Coming to you sooner than later. Again, I'm your host, John Lancaster from J. Lancaster Photos and Mayan Films. And my co-host, Angel Rivera from AE Diamond Cuts, um, located in Brooklyn, Park Slope area. See you guys soon.
break. <laughs>